Hey guys, this is Kirk from Go Make Music, and today I have another arpeggiator hack for you in Logic Pro X. This is a great way to get some cool ideas going with tweakability built in because they're not just a long straight chord with an arpeggiator on it. You can actually tweak it and customize it, and it's really fun. It used to be really complicated to capture uh, audio or arpeggiator to MIDI. Um, you had to like reroute drivers and all this kind of stuff, but there is an awesome plugin I'm going to show you now. AudioCR.com. Then go to MIDI Freeze. You can download it here. You could donate there. You can see it in action here. Once you load it, restart Logic, and you will find it underneath the MIDI effects plugins in audio units. There it is. So what this does is allows me to capture what's happening in the MIDI and then drag that file to a new place. So, for example, I'm going to turn off the ARP, turn this off. We just have a regular old-fashioned C minor chord. Now I want to tweak that arpeggiation or that chord into an arpeggiation. I'm going to duplicate the sound. Right? I'm not going to have an arpeggiator on this sound. I'm not going to have the MIDI freeze on this track. But on this track, I am. So I'm going to turn on my ARP. I get that. Turn on my capture. And then I'm going to tweak the chord inversions. All right? And you can tweak anything, but I'm going to tweak the chord inversions. So freeze. To start it, return to the beginning, hit play. Here we go. And I can even just do weird. Okay. So you can see you could do anything, but I just want to do it at the end for fun. And then I can drag this MIDI down here. There it is. And then I'm going to mute this old guy. And we can listen. Yeah. There it is. So I could tweak any of this stuff later on. There you go. So what you could do is, you know, you could tweak the timing of it on the fly. You could tweak the length of the notes on the fly, um, velocity, swing, anything, and have a lot of fun. Now, once you get something you like, you can drag it. Um, if you're done, you can delete it here. If you really like what you did and you want to save it for something else, you can actually save it as a MIDI file and then just pick a place in your world that you want to save it to and then you can start keeping like you know a treasure trove of MIDI arpeggiations for other projects. There you go. If that was helpful go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe and then if there's anything else you'd want to know just leave me a comment and we'll go into it. Also you can check out a bunch of free content at www.gomakemusic.org. Until next time, go make music.